All right, we're back over here. I was supposed to go over here. I don't know why I, I didn't realize that before. When they show it to you, okay. I don't know. I've been kind of off recently. I just haven't really been feeling all that well. I've been making a lot of a lot of simple mistakes. Maybe I need to get more sleep. I don't know. Probably. Okay, so you're supposed to sidle or hide or sneak, whatever. And then you touch the magical Anubis and you turn into a gross bug creature. And then you fly over here. And, uh. Just go over to this one, and it turns you back. Oh boy, what am I supposed to do? Oh, duh, jump, jump up, yep. So, anyways, uh, Nintendo, they did their little, uh, what's it called again? Their Nintendo Direct. I was going to say Nintendo E3. I was like, what? But yeah, I finally I watched it. I actually watched a reaction of it from um, Matt McMuscles. You know, the Super Best Friends guy. Really good. Probably one of the better ones that we've had in a while. We got a lot of good games. We got, um, we got Deadly Premonition 2. And then we got it coming out on the Switch. So that's going to be great. Can't wait for that. Um, <clears throat> what else? Come on, turn me back. Oh, wait. No. Uh, what else? What else? What else was there? There was something else that I saw from that direct that I liked. Of course, you got Terry Bogart coming to Smash. That's cool. Not the biggest Art of Fighting is Art of Fighting. The King of Fighters. I get those mixed up. I'm not the biggest fan of that game. I have, I think, one of the games on GOG. Like... They got it for free. I think. I think. I mean, I think. I just haven't installed it yet or played it. I'll definitely have to. Oh, what else? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, that Damon X Machina game. That game looks really good. I am. Um, I heard that the demo version wasn't very good. Oh, duh, gotta go over here. But from what I've heard, they got like a new developer working on it and it's probably gonna be a lot better than the uh, than the original demo. Looks fun, I haven't played like a, a mech game in a while. And of course we got some more stuff about um that uh, Animal Crossing game. That definitely looks good. I'm going to get that one cuz I haven't played um an Animal Crossing game since the original like Nintendo uh, GameCube one. Come on. It's at me. Oh, what was that one game that they had the Hero Story or Hero's Tale something like that? That one looks good. It's made by Game Freak, the, the Pokemon people. And I'm not really the biggest fan of RPGs, but it has like an interesting battle system. And that, that'll that always uh, get me hyped about a new RPG if it's like something different from your usual uh, RPG game. Something different. I... No... Okay, this is this one. It's the green. Well, not green ones. The ones with the torches. Some of them have green fire. The other ones, like over here, just have regular fire. It's kind of weird. I guess these are the ones that t turn you back. Or no. 
Or maybe it's three months. Man, I don't know. I'm just gonna go, yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. I thought some turn you back, some don't. I don't know. I'm not good at logic. See, like I said, I'm just been not feeling myself. But I guess I'm always like this. I feel like it's just gotten worse. Maybe I'm developing Alzheimer's, early onset Alzheimer's. Huh. Boy, that's gonna be great. Maybe it's all this staying up until like two in the morning. It's finally starting to take its toll on me. My mind's starting to go. Oh no. I don't even know why do I stay up so late. I, I guess because I'm just so used to it. I I don't even really like do anything productive. I'm just like watching YouTube videos or just online. Maybe I'll be playing a game or something. I don't know. I need to get back to like working. I need to get a job or something. I need something to keep me busy. Because this isn't, this isn't healthy. You know, I've always, um, I've always wanted to be like a, like a monk or something. Just go out and live in a monastery. For some reason, I, I just wanted to do that. I don't know, maybe it just fits with me being so introverted. But I've actually tried to look up, like, places, like, actual like, Christian monasteries. No! There we go. But I haven't found any that are, like, nearby, or I'd have to, like, move to another state to do all that. All right, let's go on through this door. Hmm. Oh boy. I guess this is gonna be electricity puzzle. Got water, got that little um, electro thing. Right, what do we got? Another priceless artifact. Found the third stone of Abdos Jewel. Seemed kind of underwhelmed, but uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know. Getting roasted. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess just trial and error. Uh. Hmm. No. Yeah, I, I don't know. Cause those torches are already lit. These are lit. Maybe here? No. All these torches are lit. Come on, game, give me something to work with. You know, I'll just douse myself. Douse myself and just uh, restart. Try this again. What do we do? What, what, what do? What are these? Whoa. Oh, okay, there we go. That's what I need to do the, the electricity. I need to light up this little thing. This little, it's like one of those balls that you put your hands on. And your hair stands up. Like those little electro balls. Okay, so we gotta do a whole little Prince of Persia platforming jumping. You know, that'll be a fun game series to play here. Prince of Persia. Otherwise known as Pop. Oh. Um. 
Am I supposed to be on fire for this? Because it looks like I'll have to like dodge these water plumes or water plume. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh. Ow. Okay, yeah. There's like these, these little wooden, this wooden scaffolding. Alright, so this one's a bit uh, complicated. Not really, probably not challenging, but you know. It's gonna take a lot more, uh, a lot more than just this. Than just simple puzzles, like switch puzzles. Uh, what is this even like, too? Can I burn this? No. Okay, these I probably have to light. It's a strong smell of gas, yeah. Those are torches. Okay, well, I'm gonna need the, uh, the fire. What did that do? All right, let me just uh, light myself on fire. Whoa. Oh, what? I didn't even touch the water. Or maybe it was like a split second when it was still there. I like this music. I like it a lot. What? Okay. Whatever. Okay, that, I guess, lights me up more. I, I don't know. Scarabs keep saying I want to say coins. No, these are scarabs. Even though there's like a little coin icon, but it looks like a scarab. Um. Okay, so we gotta pull those over to the lanterns or whatever. Uh, shoot! I screwed myself. No. I guess the middle one? No. I didn't want to do that. Now, well, I'll just get this one, because I know that if I pull this one... Wait, what? Go back. I'm running out of heat. The heat meter is running low. There we go. Thank you. And there we go. It's open. I need to shock myself. I need to commit more self-harm upon myself in order to uh, progress, actually, before I do that. Like the scaffolding, so it lowers the pillar so I can pass. I gotta do the same for this one. I can drag this statue that lowers that platform. 
These puzzles are cool. I like these. Like I said before, the mummy ones are kind of the highlight of the game, at least for me. There we go. Shame I never played this game when it came out. Even though I've like I've seen advertisements for it, I've seen videos of it. Seen reviews of it. Looked good. I don't know why, just never got around to playing it. I guess the middle one does the middle one? No. I, I can hear it. Alright, let's go. Come on, camera. Move. Oh. It's it's inverted, so I had to hit left to go right. I like how the uh, mummy he looks bored, but then he looks excited. It's like, oh wait, I'm supposed to be in a game. It's fun adventure platformer. And then he just smiles. I don't know why that's so funny to me. I don't know, before I do that though, you know, I should have got this earlier. I wonder, will he still pick it up if he's on fire? Okay, yeah. Alright, I found a glyph key. I don't remember what those do, but they're supposed to be important. And uh, I guess I'll just cut back to when I'm where I need to be later, I don't know. Uh, zipline, that's what I'm going to say. I don't know why I said paraglider. Two different things. It's more like a, a zipline. Um, okay, laser puzzle. Is it timed? I don't... I don't know what, what I'm... Okay, so if I hit the... Yeah. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be good. Uh, okay, this isn't too bad. Do I have to restart if I hit any of the lasers? I have a feeling I have to. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the upper ones that are tripping me up. Okay, is it in here? No. It's by the red one. Okay. Got another glyph key. Don't care. <laughs> uh, is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Alright, alright, well. Time to head on back. Yeah, I guess that's it question mark I know there are those other rooms but I don't know what I'm supposed to do okay yeah put the glyph keys in here there's a third one I don't know where that one is I just have the two What I'm supposed to do, it was really obvious. I'm sure people were yelling at me for watching this. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not feeling all that good. I haven't really been in quite a while. So that's probably why I didn't pick up on it. So you see this little wooden pole right here? You jump on that. I said you jump on that so when the platform lowers into the fire, you don't get burned. So you can just continue on and, um, yeah, 
ignite this little thing and there you go. So simple a child could do it. I don't know why I never figured that out, but oh well, whatever. But yeah, I, I um I looked up a video of someone's playthrough. A guy by the name of Vincent Games. He hasn't uh, been on YouTube in a while. He's, he's been gone for years. But if you're still around, man, thank you. Thank you for the playthrough. It's really helped me out. Well, just that one spot did. Ah, oh, come on. That's what I get for not being grateful enough. Jumped at a weird angle. The angle, the dangle. It fell right in the water. It, it cut me off on my jump. Okay, I don't know what I need. I guess fire, just to be safe. You know, why didn't I think of that? There's freaking poles you can grab onto them. That's. I mean, there's only a few things that the mummy can do. He can grab onto things, you can pull things, you can crouch, you can turn invisible, you can sidle, that's about it. Like he has some of the most basic moveset, and I didn't think of that, that he can grab onto things overhead. As we drop down here, I guess go around the water fountain. Tall white fountain. Have you read the fountain head? Sorry, I've been listening to like the the Blade Runner 2049 baseline for whatever reason. I guess cuz I'm I'm basically a replicant just from the way I, I behave. Sorry, that's that's some of the deep DZD lore. I'm actually a an early replicant. That's why I'm so robotronic. All right, drop down here. We'll saw on fire. I'll burn this, all this wood, and I can grab the glyph key. Easy peasy. That was m much easier than it than I was making it out to be, but whatever. I I got it. It took me a while, but I got it. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess just put it in. Nothing else I need to do. Puzzle has been completed. Force field goes down. Oh, wrong, wrong end. Oh, and there's the herb bag. Or the medicine bag, whatever. I'm going to put herbs in it. Oh, yeah, like weed, dude. Ugh. I can't believe people are still, like, doing weed jokes and weed humor in in the current year 2019. All right, he passes out, teleports back. And Basket appears, and he has the, the bag. Wait, why does it look different? Is it, is it in another bag? Specially lined bag will preserve any delicate medical ingredients placed inside. 
We got the third stolen Aptios jewel. Okay. Nice. And I got 70 scarabs. All right, well, let's cure the mare. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Medicine bag, very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to talk with you. I don't know why I did that. Uh, I guess I could just cut to when I have all the herbs. All right, well, this took longer than I expected, but <clears throat> I finally figured out where the last one is. So you have to go back to the palace. You got to hit these switches underneath. I never would have thought to do this. I mean, I, I noticed them, but I, I didn't think that it was going to be... Put it in here. And you go in here. This little uh, cave, and there it is. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. You found them all. If we hurry, there still may be time to save the mayor. Come now, mayor. You must take this. It will make you better. I like how those guys are just scheming over there. Yeah, they look very uh, mysterious. They look very untrustworthy. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Oh, I feel so dizzy. Who is this? What is he doing here? Well, I'm the guy who broke his ass bone to get all these herbs. This is Sphinx. He's the one who found the ingredients I needed to cure you. He is our hero. He has saved your life. Oh, thank you so much. Or thank you very much, young sir. You're quite a strange-looking fellow, aren't you? What brings you to our beautiful, the, the, the beautiful city of the, 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 the sacred crown of Abdios for Anubis? Huh, that is indeed a significant request. He is lying, sir. He's an, the imposter who poisoned you. He wants to steal the crown. Anubis would never consort with such a creature. Don't trust him. Silence, you leeches have been seeking the crown ever since you joined the council. This Sphinx has already proved himself more trustworthy than any of you. This is, hmm, this is a difficult decision. Requires some deliberation. Why is everyone so interested in the crown these days? I must think. The best course of action. Sphinx, join me next door in a few moments and I'll inform you of my decision. Above all, the people of Abdos express their sincerest thanks for the good deed you have done for the city. Our fair city has been going through a most turbulent time recently. It seems that some higher power is determined to bring misfortune and misery to our lives. Your rival and heroic actions have been a ray of hope to the people of Abdos. I, I, I abdicate. Thus the council has decided that the sacred crown of Abdos will be entrusted to you. I think it's Abios. Abios. On the condition that you deliver it safely to our Lord Anubis and express our warmest regards to him. What? You cannot give him the crown? He is clearly an imposter. 
Anubis would never endorse the actions of one such as he. Crown is ours. You are not going to give it to anyone, you stupid fool. Ah, of course. Of course. Come, brother. The crown is ours. As for you, Mayor, your short-sightedness has secured the fate of... Okay. Oh, Ra, mighty. Please, someone stop them. The traitors are escaping. Please, Sphinx, I implore you. All right, now... Wait, is there a save point here? I don't think... Oh, yeah, there is. Now I will go... Alright, well, till next time. Later.